Hi, greetings. Welcome to this video. Today we'll be doing page 78, which is a hexagonal prism. So we'll be doing the left side of the page. So as you can see from the instructions, you are asked to draw the front view. I mean, you are given the front view with the auxiliary view and the starting point all here. And you are asked to draw using scale one to one. The given two views, the auxiliary and front, and then the top view and the left view, showing all necessary hidden details and constructions. So we are going to start our drawing. The given side for the auxiliary view is 18 millimeters. So you're going to measure 18. Then draw a circle or construct a circle at 18 millimeters. So I'll be using the construction method to draw this hexagon. So I'll take just one side of my 30 degrees. Mark it there. Then still at 18, I'm just going to go around marking points on my circle. So I have to have six points. So those are my points, then I can just join them to draw the hexagon. So that is my auxiliary view. Once the auxiliary view has been done, I'm going to go ahead and start labeling the auxiliary view. I'm going to have my one, two, three, four, five, six. Then at 60 degrees, I'm going to draw my auxiliary, I mean my XY line. I just measured 10 millimeters out from my furthest point there. Mark it. Then draw my given XY line B. So with my XY line, I'm going to go out again by 10. But first, let us project. So I'm going to project point 2. At 30 degrees. And you can see that two is aligned with three there. Okay. 
one and four. Plus C, five and six. So as I've mentioned, I'm going to mark 10 millimeters away so that I can start my front view. So because it's sitting at 30 degrees, that's why I'm drawing a line at 60 because 60 is perpendicular to 30. Then our length is 50 millimeters. Then another line at 60 degrees. Then I can outline the front view. So there is my front view outline. So I'm just going to label my points. I have two, three here, two, three. Remember, it's a prism. So that means both of the sides are a hexagon. One, four, one, four, then five, six, five, and six here. So all the points are aligned and they share. From there, I'm going to measure 10 down to get my XY1. And then project it across. So from then, I'm going to measure, I'm sorry, I'm going to project all of my points down. So, Two and three, one and four, five and six, once again, two and three, one and four, five and six. Once my points are now projected down, I just get them from the xy line so remember this is my x1 y1 i start here by point one i make sure that i raise it so i open the distance from point one all the way to the xy line so from xy to point one and then in the line that i projected one at i'm going to make a mark so as you can see i'm only marking on one side then i'm just going to project to the other side so two and six are also aligned so i'm only going to measure the one side which is two so where two is, I make my mark, then six will be here. I also mark it, as you can see there. Then lastly, three and, not lastly, three and five are aligned. There they are. So I come back to where I marked two. I mark three there. Then I mark five, and then now lastly, we're going to open the distance all the way to where four is. Where my four is, it's in the same line as one, I make a mark. So I have my my one, two three, four, five, six. Those are my points. I can just refocus this so that it's more focused on what I'm doing here. 
so I have marked all of my points here and I can lightly join them using a construction line. So there is my hexagon, as you can see. If then what I'm going to do, I will just project it. So my one, my one is here. I'm going to have one there with two and six here. On these two lines, then we have three and five. These two line, and then at the bottom we have four. So I'm just going to bring that point for four down using my constructions, lightly join them. This is still all in constructions, as the instructions were very clear on showing all the necessary constructions. Please ensure that you always show your constructions. So that is your constructions. Now we are going to have a look at what is it that we outline and what is it that we leave. We leave in hidden detail. So as we can see, when you're looking at your drawing from the top view, you'll be able to see everything on this side. So this hexagon will be visible. So you have to ensure that you outline it. So that is your first hexagon, which is this side. Then in order to see which lines you also are going to outline, it's going to be everything else on the outside. So everything else on the outside, because you're looking at it from the top, you're seeing this you're looking at it from the top you are seeing this this part so one all the way to four so you are here and you're seeing four three two one in the top of you so i'll plan that as well Then obviously, four and four clearly visible there because you will also see one in one. So remember, this is you looking at your hexagonal prism from the top, and then two and two clearly visible. So you're going to join two here with the other two. So two and two still visible. Three and three also there.
and then this is your now you just have to draw the remainder in hidden detail 5 and 5 is in hidden detail as well as 6 and 6 because they are now hidden they are at the back so you don't actually see them they then come here Hidden details. So this is your top view. Once the top view has been done, you're going to go 10 out again and then draw your 45 degree line. The reason why I'm measuring 10 millimeters out, it's just because I want my drawing to be neat. I want my drawing to be readable. I don't want to have a drawing that is too complicated to read and interpret. So 45 degree line, and then I take my points up. using a construction line. So I'm taking four, I'm taking three, two, one. Remember two and six share here and three and five share. Take them all the way up. Then label, as I've mentioned, I have four here. Then on this line, I have three and five. On this line, I have two and six. Then on this line, I have one. Then here, I'm going to project my lines. So I'm going to start with five and six. So five and six. We're starting with this hexagon, five and six, I have a point there, five, I have a point at six. Then we move on to one and four. I have a point at one, I have a point at four. Lastly, we move on to two and three. Two, because two is here, three is also here, sharing with five. Then immediately, using construction lines, you want to join your points. So there they are. So these are your this is your bottom hexagon. Now for the top hexagon. Five and six again. Five and six here we have six here and then we have five here. Moving on to one and four. We have point one. We have point four. And lastly, two and three, we have point two, we have point three. Okay. Once again, ensure that you join your point. Now all you, that you're left to do is also highlight what is it that you're left to outline and to draw in hidden detail. Remember this is your left view.
when you're looking at your drawing from the left side, you are seeing this hexagon, this one. That means the top hexagon. You are seeing it completely as it is. That means you have to outline it immediately as you recognize that. You have to then outline that hexagon. So the top hexagon has been outlined. And then as I've been saying, that means these lines, all these lines that are outside, these lines here will then be outlined as well because they make up the solid. So you want to outline them. And then that means once again this one hidden detail our back points are here and from here then we will have hidden detail so i will just outline your hidden detail So there is your left side of page 78. This is how you answer that question. I hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.